Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Dynamo video. Super excited for this one. Sunday Night Football, Dolphins at Eagles, two of the best teams in the NFL. Two former Alabama quarterbacks, Tua, who replaced Hurts at halftime in the national championship game in like 2017 that they won. Good storyline, going to be a great matchup in this one. Super excited for it. You guys probably will notice that some of these picks and lines have changed by the time you're watching this video. If you want to get them before the video comes out, I do post them in the VIP Discord of Dynamo, which is $25 per month. But if you click subscribe and then use code 10 back, you're going to get $10 off. So it's going to be just $14. 99 or 50 cents per day, which gets you access to eight cappers picks on prize picks, including mine, plus our projections that are daily as well. So definitely check it out. Use code 10 back for $10 off. And we got NBA coming up. It's going to be a crazy next month. So a good time to get in for this game. Going to have some really good picks. I think it's going to be a high scoring one. We have five picks in this game as always. So stay tuned for all five of the picks. This game, Sunday night, Dolphins-Eagles, both 5-1. Eagles 2-0 at home. We got Philly, still minus 2.5 favorites. The over-under down to 50.5. I saw this up at 52, even like 52.5. So for some reason, it's going down. It's supposed to be a nice night there, 62 degrees. So I don't think weather is going to be an issue. Not sure why the line's really dropping. I haven't heard really any big injuries or anything like that. So the way I'm playing this one, I think that this total is going to be over, going to be a close game. So these picks are going to reflect that. So let's get right into it. The first one, we got to start with a quarterback. We're going to start with Jalen Hurts. We're going to go to his completions. I think it's going to be an offensive game, even though Philly does have a good defense. Miami's defense is somewhat unproven right now. So I'm going over on Hurts here, 22 and a half. Over here on Outlier, which is a great tool with a free trial that you could try out. It'll be linked down below. Uh, looking up Hertz, all his props here. We can see him on the passing completions. Against Miami, quarterbacks pass 34.8 times a game. So pretty high in his last four games. He's hit this. And some of these games were not super competitive, like Tampa Bay. And he's still... He still managed to hit this one, so definitely liking Hurts in this game on the completions. They've been throwing a ton of passes, and I just think this is going to be an absolute shootout where Hurts is going to have to throw a lot. Miami has those explosive plays, so we could see a lot of Hurts in this Eagles offense as well in this game. So really like this pick. The second one, we're going to go to A.J. Brown. I mean, I just think this line is way too low. You maybe could do some odd shopping or wait for it to possibly drop lower because I have seen it lower, but I don't really care. Anything in the 80s, I'm taking A.J. Brown. I really like him in this game. Going to Brown, he's been absolutely going crazy this year. And recently, you could see they have it here at 81 and a half. So we may see this drop and you maybe get a better line than 84 and a half on this one but I'm still taking the over his last four games his lowest yardage is 127 absolutely been crushing it here receiving yards allowed 19th in the league from Miami the targets have been down a little bit nine and eight the last two games but he had 13 and 14 two weeks before that I think we're gonna see double digit target targets from AJ Brown and a lot of passes, a lot of completions because we're pairing him with, you know, Jalen Hurts, who we like as well. So Hurts on the completions, a lot of those going to go to A.J. Brown is what we're thinking in this one. And also a lot of completions to DeAndre Swift, who I like on the receiving yards. Again, you may be able to wait and get this at a slightly better deal. Or if you're watching this later, could get a better deal on Brown and Swift and maybe even Hurts here. But I just think that We've seen these totals drop and some of these props dropping, and I think they could go back up. So I, I'm liking these right now, and I think this is just going to be a massive offensive game here. So I do like Swift as well. Swift has been doing really well in the receiving game kind of quietly that I don't think people have realized. He's obviously been running really well, but the receiving game has been there as well. Last three games has hit over this 40 in his 
previous game and the one before that, 38. And the targets, you know, 10 targets, 8 catches last game. Before that, 6 targets, 6 catches. He does the most with his targets. The game before that, 4 for 4. So he's he's been crushing it. This one opened at 22.5. We've seen it go up to 23.5. We're getting it at 22.5. Not bad. I think he is going to go well over this. I really like Brown and Swift to pair with Hertz. And Hertz has been getting those completions because he throws to Swift and he just has been catching basically everything. Great three here to start out with for the Eagles. Now we're going to go to the Dolphins. And there's another free tool that I'll link down below. It's not free, but it's a free trial for seven days here. Odds Jam. Basically, they compare it to all the other lines on sportsbooks. Their top pick here, Jalen Waddle, over four and a half catches. You can see like FanDuel has it at minus 130. Hot Streak has it at minus 149, so they really like it. Caesars has it at minus 151. So some of these sports books like it more than the others, but I think the lowest we see here is going to be 122, and that's underdog, so that's just their standard. Definitely am liking this one. Waddle been more involved. Defenses basically have been trying to take away Tyree Kill. It didn't work last week at all, but Waddle's been getting more involved in the offense, so I do like Waddle. In this one, Miami is going to have to be throwing a lot. I think it could be harder for them to run in this game. You know, no A-chan, but obviously they still have Mostert. Probably will get Jeff Wilson back, it looks like, as well. Looking at some stats over here for Waddle. Over four and a half catches. Obviously, these sports books are liking it. Last two games, seven and five. The targets have been there nine and ten the last two games. So... I think he can do more with these targets. You know, only caught 50% of them two weeks ago. And receptions allowed. We can see over here 26 from Philadelphia ranked, which is surprisingly pretty low for Philadelphia, who you would think has a good defense. Last year, you can see he only hit this in 7 of 18 games. But like I said, you can do some pretty cool things here with outlier one of the cool things you can do here is use this tab and say you only want to look at last year games that he played with Tua and you can see the numbers change down here but obviously Tua you know played only some half games as well but definitely some cool things that you're able to do over here on outlier so I would check out the free trial for a week I think it's definitely worth it to get this kind of data and information so now that we have a Miami receiver, we're pairing him with Tua. I just really like this game on the over. I think it's going to be a massive game for both teams here. That's basically the game script I'm coming up with. You know, when you're doing these five-pick slips here, you got to have a game script in mind. And I was looking all over for it. It's right there, 22 and a half completions for Tua. I think they're going to have to pass more than they have been. They've kind of been relying on the run game. I think Philadelphia can shut that down fairly effectively, and I think it's going to be a passing game. If we look over here at Tua, we can see, you know, first Carolina and the Giants. He didn't have to throw that much. They pretty much had these games under control. I'm pretty sure they even pulled him in this game, and he was really close, obviously, to getting 23 with 21 here and 22. His lowest on the season is 21, you know, in a game where he's going to be after passing the whole time. Philadelphia ranks 29th against the pass as far as attempts. Teams have been passing on them a ton. I think two is going to have to do the same here, and I think he's going to complete a lot and hopefully a lot to Jalen Waddle to complete our stack here. So basically, we're thinking both these passing attacks are going to be really nice, both with Hurts and Tua, the former Alabama teammates who won a national championship together with their receivers, you know, Waddle, Brown, and Swift. So that's the five we like for this slip in this game. If you guys do want to check out the paid Discord, use code 10BACK for our YouTube viewers. I know a lot of you guys who watch YouTube are in there in the VIP chat, so definitely check it out. We also got NBA coming up, so super excited for that. And for the paid Discord, when NBA comes out, that's going to be absolutely crazy. But hockey's been great, MLB and NFL and college. So I'll see you in there. Subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed this one. And check out some of the other videos on the channel. We have a full Sunday Slate video up. 
for week seven as well if you're watching this one Sunday morning or on Saturday. Appreciate you guys for watching.